Hey everyone, this is Chris Van Veen, founder of the Manchester Airport Spotters and Information Group, and um, a lot of interest on data statistics, how the airport is doing with respect to loads and traffic month over month and year over year. Um, I thought I'd take a few minutes to describe the pathway I use to get these statistics. And I'll go as slow as I can, but at the very end, I'll summarize these on a sheet so you can basically see the pathway I take and follow along yourself. But the very first thing you're going to want to do is go to a website called transstats.bts.gov, right there. And once you go there, you're gonna be presented with a page with all sorts of information, bar charts and whatnot. But from there, you're going to want to look at this left column and you're going to want to go to database directory. So click that. And then you're going to want to go four down on this list to something called air carrier statistics and then parentheses form 41 traffic US carriers. You can see that right there. So you're going to want to click that. And then you're going to have another column of options and you're going to want to click the second from the top, which is right there. You're actually, this is very important to uh, understand. You're going to want to see that second from the top, but you're not going to want to click it. Instead, what you're going to do is go to the lower right where it says download and you see several options here. So that's the one you're going to find. And what you're going to do is click download. And this is where the interesting data parsing begins. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is click the appropriate boxes here. A lot of click boxes. <clears throat> you're gonna to want to click departure scheduled, departures performed, available seats, Passengers transported. Scroll further down in the carrier section. And you're going to click carrier name. Under origin, you're simply going to click origin, origin your airport. Under destination, you're going to click destination airport. Don't bother with the aircraft type box. That's meaningless. The month, and as you'll find out, is meaningless too. So you click the boxes for the data that you would like to download. So up at the very top, you're going to filter this filter geography. So in our case, I'm going to pick New Hampshire. The filter year is 2024. I don't want all months in this case, but the latest is June 2024. So here, instead of all months, I'm going to put June. So to summarize, we've picked several field names that we want to download. We've picked New Hampshire as the geography, the year is 2024, and the month is June. You could go back to 23, 22, 21. You can do some interesting searches for how things used to be, but let's take a look at how data is as of June. 
So with these all selected, you simply say down here, right there, download. And then it goes flying into my case, my Macintosh MacBook Pro downloads. I'm hoping you guys have Excel because if you do, you're going to want to open it up and then say open. You're going to go to your downloads, pick the file that you just downloaded and open it up. Now my eyes aren't that good, it's 12 points, so I'm going to bump the, the uh, font size up to 18 so I can read it legibly. I'm going to change the column spacing so it's a little bit nicer. I'm going to select these columns and have them centered. And then I'm going to go ahead and with the whole thing selected, I'm going to go into data. I'm going to go sort and I'm going to sort by carrier name. So that way, everything in my database, in my Excel spreadsheet is listed by airline. So what you'll see is Breeze. Let's take this one. Breeze for June at 820 seats available across five flights and 445 of them were full. That was the Manchester to Charleston segment. Charleston, Manchester was 486 seats were filled over 820. Again, five flights. So you can go down here and basically see every airline, how it performed, right down to Southwest and how they did. You might be surprised with how well some flights did. You might be surprised at how poorly some flights did. But this is data from the US government. So lacking anything else, this is what we can go on. So again, <clears throat> good way for you to get data. I'll summarize this on a follow-up sheet that you can you know, follow along with the links you need to go to. And uh, hope you have fun doing it. It's very interesting and um, I think it's very useful for us. All the best, bye.